Good morning. Welcome to Monday, June the 8th. I'm Pastor Jim Krieger in my office here at Holy Cross Lutheran Church and School in Saginaw, Michigan. The devotion for today meets us where God commands us to join him in mission to the lost all around the world. Begins this way. When it comes to how we are to make a defense of what we believe, what we teach, what we confess as Christians, the teaching contained in 1 Peter 3.15 is clear. In your hearts, honor Christ the Lord as holy. Always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and respect. When we consider the immediate and wider context of this verse, there is so much more that we are taught. For years, many Christians have mistakenly believed that making a defense, or what is called apologetics, is best practiced by professional church workers and the pastors of our churches. St. Peter echoes in his letter that this same truth found throughout the Bible that Jesus Christ is Lord is spread as a gospel message by all Christians for all to hear, but especially to those who do not know Jesus. Again, the blessed gospel of Scripture is a treasure shared by God the Father through the Holy Spirit on the pages of the Bible for you to share with others so that you in your thoughts and words and deeds may honor Christ the Lord as holy. In his letter, St. Peter has already told believers that they are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God, that they should declare his mighty deeds. Believers are set apart by God in the world. In the world, we should be seen as different, and our lives will always include a number of ways of suffering and persecution for the sake of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Peter also reminds all of those who hear that as we expect suffering, we should count it as joy because we suffer for the sake of Christ. Our example of holiness, gentleness, and suffering for the sake of Jesus is a hallmark of Christianity around the world that we do not simply despair as many do who have no hope, but we persevere because we have hope, and it is in the practice of apologetics, making a defense for the hope that we have that honors Christ the Lord is holy. Now, in a world where many people fear suffering in all of its forms, Peter reminds us that our focus should always be on honoring Christ in how we meet that suffering and any tragic event or circumstance. But what does it mean to honor Christ the Lord? The word for honor has the sense of treating as holy, meaning we have a holy regard and a reverence for Christ as our Lord and Savior. In other words, we are to treat Jesus with a special measure of honor of status. It's not an option for us to treat Jesus in the way he deserves as God's Son and Savior. It is the command of Scripture to honor Christ the Lord as holy. The desire of our hearts as children of God should always be to understand these teachings of Scripture and obey all the commands that come from God our Father. Now, our holiness depends on Jesus, for it is through following Jesus that the Holy Spirit works to make our lives holy, so that people may know through our words and our actions our relationship to the holy triune God. And living our daily lives as children of God is never about seeking the approval of anyone around us in the world. 
It is only and always about honoring Christ the Lord, giving that deference to God our Father, and never withholding the blessed hope that is in us. As defenders and missionaries of these truths contained in just this part of the Bible, we should never allow our witness to be focused on the pleasing of those around us. But we are only and always about speaking truths in love, the truths of Scripture about Jesus. For only in Jesus can any sinner receive God's forgiveness and only through faith in Jesus can any sinner receive salvation. Remember this statement. If Christ is rightly honored in the hearts of his people, then we can only be loyal to him and never loyal to a sin-filled world. Let me read that again. If Christ is rightly honored in the hearts of his people, then we will be loyal to him and not to a sinful world. But teaching that Christians should always be prepared to make a defense, that flows from our faithful obedience to the words that come right before it, honoring Christ the Lord as holy. It is because we honor Christ the Lord as holy. It is because we are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, that we joyfully respond to the command, always be prepared to make a defense for the hope that is in you. In 1 Peter 3.15, through the Spirit, God the Father is teaching us that our hope, our personal holiness, will require an explanation from us because the way we speak and the way we live as children of God will always set us apart in the eyes of a sinful world. If you've ever met challenges and troubles, personal loss or suffering or death with your chin held high in hope and strength with absolute confidence in God's provision, then you have probably been singled out and even asked, how can you be so strong? How can you have the hope you have? But that is the right question for a Christian to receive, and it is exactly the right time for us to make our personal confession of the hope that is in us, not because it is in us by ourselves, but because of our relationship with the Holy Triune God. And in that confession, giving glory to God and the strength that comes only from Him, we also honor the source of that strength, Christ the Lord. Do we really have a choice whether or not we want to give a reason for the hope that is in us? We don't really have a choice as long as we are children of God. It is required of every believer, every follower, to honor Christ the Lord as holy and to be prepared to give a defense to all those who ask for the reason for our hope. But we don't live in just the words and actions. We must make sure how we dress, how we talk, what we think about, what we allow into our minds and hearts, and how we react in the midst of struggles around us. If our dress and our talk, if the way we think that influences our words and our actions seem to just blend in with the world around us, then how can people ever see and hold in high regard the Savior we proclaim and claim to follow? We are set apart by God, not to be of the world, but while we live in it, we are forgiven by faith in Jesus and we are commanded to honor Christ the Lord as holy. Yes, there must be something about our lives that causes us to think and act and speak differently, most people around us won't really hear the words we speak unless they also see us in action. That is not to say that what we do is more important than what we say, but our actions must be consistent with our words. Most of all, we must not forget to explain the reason for our hope with gentleness and respect. We must be open and honest about Jesus from the teachings of the Bible, but only the Holy Spirit can lead a person to say, 
Jesus Christ is Lord. But we must caution ourselves. Our words and actions and attitudes have the power to turn people away from God. If we, who claim to be Christian, present an all-or-nothing approach, or when our words and actions do not match each other. In a world where we will and do face suffering for the hope that is in us, for our faith in Jesus, our efforts to defend and explain Jesus Christ as Lord to all who do not believe must have this starting point. Honor Christ the Lord as holy in your heart today, and may that holy living that comes from the Spirit join our actions and our words that we may always be about declaring, Jesus Christ is Lord, the way, the truth, the life, the source of strength, of hope for all our days and all our years. Let us pray. Dearest Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, may we live our lives as holy and pleasing to you, set apart through baptism that has joined us into your death and burial and resurrection, a victory that is ours through faith in your holy name, forgiveness and salvation that comes to us without condition for all who believe. It is through that belief that relationship that God has created with us, that we have hope for each new day, that we have strength to meet every struggle, that we can lift up our chins in the most direst of situations, when all those around us would simply give in to despair. We cling to the anchor of hope in Jesus, and we know that for all who believe in him, those that part from us on this side of heaven we simply say goodbye for a little while. We shall see them again in the mansions of heaven where there is no cause or no effect of sin. There is only perfect joy and harmony in the presence of the triune God and all who have lived believing and dying believing in Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Holy Spirit, give us the words to proclaim. Jesus Christ is Lord in these troubled times on this earth in the struggles from the coronavirus, for the struggles that come from natural disasters and catastrophes, even to the simplest times of our day, when we just struggle against the ways of this world and always against temptation. But we never struggle alone. You are there with us. Even as in the words of Jesus, we have heard your promise, I am with you. Bless and keep us this day as we now join together in that most powerful of prayers, because it is the prayer Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Dear children of God, continue to proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord as you live this day and each day following Jesus as your Savior and Shepherd. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and in the name of Jesus give you peace. Honor Christ the Lord as holy today and do not be afraid to give a defense for the hope that is in you to all who would ask. Jesus Christ is Lord. God bless you in the way you live as his child today.